So, I came across this fancy chat box named Lobe Chat from Lobe Hub. It promises speech synthesis, multi-model support, extensible plugins, and a ton of other fancy features. The feature that caught my attention was open source. I did a bit of research and found it to be interesting. Let me take you through my journey of exploration and installation of Lobe Chat that is completely free to use with your private LLM processor like Olama. I do have this video that I shared a couple of days back. It talks about how you can have your own free LLM client without paying any subscription. So without further ado, let's get into it. I started my journey by going to lobehub.com that hosts the lobe chat stuff on their website. It's animated, looks impressive, but exploring further, it has a lot of information, overwhelming to me. And I was trying to find something that says free or open source. It says 306 plus assistants, which is impressive. Um, let's see if it is, or these are available in the open source version or not. I clicked on get started button. It opened the lobechat.com, which is cloud version of lobechat. And it asks the sign in, but it provides the sign in option. I don't want to sign in or sign up here. Uh, let's click on chat and see what does it offer. Again, it is not letting me do anything here. What is the price? And then, oh, request fail. So it lo looks like it, it won't let me access any of these features uh, without signing up and that is something that i don't want it shows a list of oh wow that's impressive it shows a list of all these available models but do you see any related uh, olama stuff no right okay um this is something that i am not sure if i'll be continuing with this so this is this looks like a paid version let's go back to lobehub.com and see what is this so if you browse further down you see okay this is free option but this is cloud all these options are available in the free version which is zero dollars per month and it provides you like impressive 450,000 credits which allows us to make 900 messages for standard models and 90 messages for advanced model what when we are exhausted of these uh, credits will be paying monthly subscription no i am still reluctant using this so the, the other plans are nine dollars ninety cents nineteen dollars ninety cents per month thirty nine dollars ninety cents per month which which is uh, something that again i i'm not interested in so i'm, I'm still looking for something that says open source so I try to search for the text open source in the browser window and it looks like I need a space. Oh yeah, it says open source. Click on Lobe Chat and it takes us to the Lobe Chat GitHub. Okay, I'm again looking for something that says install open source Docker or something. Uh, this has too much information on here. Oh, it says LLM support. So it is promising that we will be able to put in Olama in place. So let's search further and look for something open source that says open source. Oh, okay. It shows, it says self hosting and it has a Docker image link. So let's click on that. It should take us to the Docker hub for Lobe Chat. And yes, uh, Finally, we have reached something, we have found something that is useful. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, I'll share the link. Now, if you see on the right, it says docker pull command. This is the command we are looking for. Just copy it. And if you have docker desktop install, open it. There are no images, no containers. There's a link down below that says terminal. Click on that. If it is not enabled, enable it or you can use your own uh, terminal from Windows or Linux. Paste the command and it should start pulling the Docker image on your machine. And let's wait for um, the image pull to get completed. Yes, and then you see a list 
of images that shows loop chart click on run uh, put in your desired name for for the container port i'm using 3200 default is 3210 and you can leave it as zero if you want to have a random generated port so uh, i'll just put in 3200 and click on run now the container has started if you go back to the containers you can see this is running five seconds ago and click the link and yep if we got our own loop chat that is running privately now let, let's explore and you see there is no sign in or sign up option there click on that chat link there and we'll see what's available now if you click on that little brain you can see the many options there are models available from ulama as well right and chat gpt let's click on chat gpt and say hello okay as expected it is uh, asking for open ai api key that that's fine let's leave it for now uh, let's go to the settings as we are only interested in getting it free the free version of uh, private ai let's click on the language model uh, again, the very first option is OpenAI. Uh, we are not interested in here yet. Just disable it. The second option is uh, that says Olama. Enable it if it is not enabled. And uh, the interface proxy address. Uh, mine is hosted on a standalone Linux machine. I'm going to provide that address here. Um, so th this is this is the location I have locally. I put in the port there and just click on the check button there. It's it's pass. Now that there, there are models available, you can add or remove uh, your own models there. And that is all. If you see, there are like a huge list of other providers, including Microsoft Azure. You, if you are subscribed, if you have API keys, just, just go in and put yours there. Similarly, Grok is available and much more, right? And it is, it is. Uh, increasing uh, with the time so obviously it is extensible you can have many other models there okay now go back to the uh, the chat window like the little brain select the available models your private models from Alama. I'm clicking 53 let's see if uh, it works who are you and then it processes so th this is directly connected to my uh, Olama server and it, it is the response is coming directly from there so there is no internet connection required here so it is processing fast now uh, i'll put in another question what is your name simple right so uh, just playing around with <laughs> with this stuff and it is it is good so i changed the model as it said uh, multi-model support so you, i changed the model to llama 3 and put in the question uh, it worked fine so and there is a list of topics there are default topics on on the right you can create a copy rename those for your um, um, record keeping or you can delete uh, whatever you don't want to keep so that that is all actually so that, that was quick right the only part was uh, the confusing part was the lobe hub website it has a lot of information um, I wish they had this um, open source link or the Docker image link right on the face. Um, we would not have uh, wasted that time. So uh, I hope uh, you like this video and I'll provide that link, Docker image link uh, on my video description. So you don't have to go through all, all these, uh, these stuff. But yeah, it has good information. This is useful if you are looking to explore what are the options available, what are the assistants available on the Lobe Hub. So that, that that is helpful. But if you are only looking to host your own version of uh, private uh, Lobe Chat, then um, use the link I, I'm providing and that should be all. Uh, it's pretty fast. It's quick if you have Olama. All right. That is all for now. I hope you like this video again and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.